Here's how to use log rules to expand and condense tricky logarithms. Now with these types of problems, it helps to look at the big picture and then work your way down. For example, here we have a really messy log, but we notice it's just two things dividing by each other. Remembering the quotient rule, we can split this into two separate logs of slightly less messy things that are subtracting each other. Now going to work on the first log on the left, some students may be tempted to use the power rule because they see an exponent and want to bring the three down out front. However, this would be a major L because the three is raising just the Y to a power and you can only bring the exponent out front if everything inside is being raised to that power. But that doesn't mean we're stuck because the X and Y cubed are still multiplying each other. So we can use the product rule to write that as the log of X plus the log of Y cubed. Moving on to the rightmost log, we remember that square roots can be written as one half powers, which gives us the log of Z to the one half. The last step is to take any of the exponents left and bring them out front, which gives us our final answer of log X plus three log Y minus one half log Z. Now the other type of question they can ask is for condensing logarithms, which is basically doing things in reverse. But here are some tricks to keep things straight. The first thing I like to do when given these types of problems is get rid of all the numbers in front of the logs. To do this, we just use the power rule to bring the front numbers back up as exponents. Careful here though, because this means everything inside the log needs to be raised to that same number out front. The next step is to go left to right and use the product and quotient rules to group things together. In this case, I'm gonna use the quotient rule to write these first two subtracting logs as a single dividing log. Now I have two logs adding each other, which I can write as a single log with the insides multiplying each other. The last step is to simplify by canceling out some exponents and you're done. Watch out though. The biggest L students will take sometimes is for not going left to right and doing the log things out of order. In this same example, we could have messed up by combining the adding logs on the right first so that they were multiplying on the inside. And then now we would have two subtracting logs left to combine as dividing, but this would have given us the wrong answer. And there you have it. That's how to expand and condense logarithms. Nice.